for 126 seats and put in 54. That creates a luxurious plane ride, man. <laughs> Who's it? Boom, he jams it straight down. Absolutely, Clark. No one in his airspace on that dunk. Yeah, but come on, Kevin. The defense can't let that happen. <laughs> I hope they let it happen more. It's fun to watch that guy fly. <laughs> Just a gift. Two points they gave up. That's awful. Schroeder kicks to Copeland. Here's Scott. And the layup's good off the glass. That gives him a double-double in this one. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Clarkson passes to Hill. Outside Boozer. Hill is green on D'Alembert. Boozer kicks to Hill. And he comes off the screen and slams it through. You know, when he's in that tight with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. Here's Powell, defended by Lynn. Schroeder dishes to Scott. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Hill's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Clarkson passes to Lynn. Clarkson kicks to Young. Pass to Clarkson. Right side, Lynn. No good on the triple. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, you're in big trouble. Well, it started a few years ago, and it looks like it's a trend that is here to stay. Sleeve jerseys, once again, making their presence felt in the NBA. I got to admit, I don't see the appeal for players. I never like to shoot with a, a sleeved shirt on. It kind of tugs at your arm, but... Uh, it sells, and that's the big thing for the league. Screen by Young. Lynn kicks to Young. Fires the three. And that one's good. Young's got five points now this quarter. In the first half, they didn't shoot nearly as many threes. But finding themselves down now, they've started to cast up a lot more triples. Scott with a screen on Lynn. Left side, Scott. He took good advantage of that screen. And guys, with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who's watched it. I mean, just a total mismatch in a, a true show of strength for the Hawks. Agreed, Steve. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was spot on. To the left wing. Here's Paysmore. And D'Alembert kicks to Scott. Here's Paysmore. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. They got to feel pretty good about this win tonight, guys, defending their home floor. Yeah, and just riding it out here now. I mean, they gave the fans what they wanted. Twenty-nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Well, that was not a smart play there. That's a wild shot. They can get something better. No, that's not smart basketball. He should have passed that shot up. We've got 13 seconds left in the game. Here's Clarkson. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation of NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game.